Hey guys, are you getting uh, black lines or dirty copies or background on your image on your Kyocera M2035, M2535 or even as old as this FS1135 MFP? Um, simple test is you run a report print and a status page and see how that status page turns out. So that status page is right here. You can tell it's very dirty. And I can, I'll just show a video on how you can correct that very simply and easily, all right? All right, what you will need for this repair is simply a flathead screwdriver, something like this. A smaller one is preferably uh, more preferable. And then, of course, um, Phillips screwdriver. And then the main part is, is this drum cleaning blade. So those are the three items that um, and of course maybe a dust cloth to it's gonna it can get a little dirty and a 3m vacuum cleaner all right first off to print a test page you hit on the function menu and actually not function menu you hit on the um, system menu counter button and then you're gonna select report report again okay and you're gonna print a status page scroll down one time and hit OK and then yes and this will this will print out a status page a report generated from the engine itself so we're totally eliminating the optical section and you can see that there is the lines right there due to a bad cleaning blade okay we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine off and again this pertains to the M2035 and M2535 and of course, this FS1135 MFP. Open the front door, remove the developer unit with the toner cartridge on top. And then there's your drum unit with the two green handles. You're gonna grab the green handles and just pull on it towards you. And we're gonna go ahead and place the, the drum unit on the, a flat surface. And this is what we'll work on in getting out the cleaner blade and actually replacing the cleaner blade. What we're going to do as well is vacuum out the cleaning unit from all the old toner because it could be packed up in there. And then we'll put on a new blade. All right, first off, we're going to lay some scratch paper down so we can catch the toner that we drop out of this drum unit. Next, zoom in a little bit. We're going to focus on this area right here. There's a book, there's a gray lever tab that needs to be lifted up above this black notch in the frame to clear that in order for the main charge unit to slip out. So, that's where we're going to get a handy flathead screwdriver and just lift up that main charge gray lever and we're at the same time let's move the charge cleaner towards the middle middle and then this gray tab right here is meant to be to be held so you can go ahead and tug it and push it towards the left while lifting up this gray tab above the black notch so this whole thing will go to the left At the same time, you can push down on this metal tab to clear the black frame that's holding this whole main charge into place. So push down metal tab, pull to the left, and you can see that the, the whole main charge unit moves over to the left. Again, this is still being caught, so I'm going to push it down again, the metal tab, and pull, push pulling it over to the left. Then now this clears so I can lift it up this way. Pull it completely up. And then this side is still caught in this area. So I'm gonna tug it this way while lifting up this gray tab. that's the main charge unit I usually inspect it for any toner on the grid if there is toner just dust it off um, you don't want to do too much in here because there's a high voltage 
main charge grid wire in the middle and you don't want to damage that. So I put this off to the side and then our cleaner blade is exposed. So cleaner blade is right here, one screw here, this, the other screw here, one on the left, one on the right. I'm going to take our screwdriver and I'll just focus in a little bit here. So here's a screwdriver, here's a screw right there. I'll take my Phillips and unscrew that screw and then another one on the left also be very careful that you not touch the the red drum that is right below it I should have mentioned that earlier but this drum right here is very sensitive to nicks and metal or anything hard, with a hard surface you can scratch this surface and and it's it's it, it's not repairable so if you scratch it you end up with a spot on your images every time that spot shows up on your print it's like a repetitive spot so you want to be careful you don't scratch the the drum it's called the photoconductive drum and then you don't want to expose it to um, light for too long like my um my camera flashlight is is on it so you want to keep it covered from especially sunlight so anyway get the blade right here I got two screws off I'm gonna pull the blade forward you might have to use your flathead screwdriver I'm gonna just take take off one side first just pull it forward towards the drum right there and then it you can pull it completely out of the, the drum unit I'll lay the blade down so this is what actually fails in the drum unit itself, it's the cleaner blade. It's similar to like your windshield wipers on your car, so you know that windshield wipers don't last forever. You have to change it out just because this is made out of rubber. So after a while that rubber deteriorates and it doesn't clean or wipe the drum clean, causing those streaks that you see on the status page. So as you can see right here on the drum, you can see the the streaks here that this blade left behind because it's not wiping it cleanly so what we're going to do is sometimes there's a, there's also um, pack toner in the cleaning unit itself so we're going to vacuum that out and clean out all the um, the waste toner before putting on the new blade all right being very careful that you do not let anything hard uh, like a hard surface touch your drum I'm going to go close to the drum but I'm not not actually touching the drum so I'm going to vacuum out that reservoir. Most of the toner out from there. The other place I'm gonna clean out is the rear side of the cleaning unit. There's two caps, one on the right, one on the left. So there's two tabs right in here that you need to clear with your flathead screwdriver. I simply just tuck it right into the slot right here and then you see that arrow pointing up. I'm gonna put it in and then turn up this way and you can see the the cover comes out of its slot here. So I'm just going to put my vacuum cleaner right at that access port. side is on the left there's a port right here I'm gonna lift it up
got most of the toner out. Now, there's a reason why I put some waste toner on my paper here. Um, because on the new blade, what we would want to do is we would want to prime the new edge on the new blade. So, and the reason being is um, during packing, some of these blades, they come with a white powder that usually, usually keeps the blade um, lubricated with 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 um, with the white white powder um, before putting the blade onto the drum drum unit itself we'd want to prime the edge exactly where the the blade touches the drum so it'll be more towards this edge here more towards this edge so what I do is just simply just rub it up against the edge of the blade just to get a little bit of toner or a lot onto the cleaner blade itself um, what this does it prevents the blade from sticking to the drum right off the bat and sometimes when the when the blade is not primed with toner it'll stick to the drum and since the drum is turning the opposite way of where the blade is facing it might flip the blade upwards causing the blade to fail so priming the blade is is pretty important so we do that every time we change the, the cleaner blade now that the now that the blade is primed there's some waste toner or toner on the on the blade edge itself we can go ahead and install the cleaner blade Taking note that when you do put the blade in, there is two notches on the blade itself. One right there, like an elongated hole, and then there's another notch right here. The, this, this hole is for the screw, and then there's a notch right there that goes into the frame, and it's keyed right, it's fixed right into the frame. So you'd wanna keep note of that and make sure you got that in place before screwing it down. So I can see that the frame is protruding out of those two notches and I'm ready to screw it down. blade is secured with the two screws and you're checking to see if the notches are are protruding through or the frame is protruding through those two notches um, with the fixing fixing um, pins we can go ahead and what I like to do is I like to turn the drum in the opposite direction so I like to turn the drum um, in the same way that the blade is facing so it, I'll turn the drum this way just to get a good kind of spread the toner out on the blade itself and once I do that for maybe about a half a turn I, I turn the drum I turn the drum in the way that it should go which is which is back this direction and then I'll look, I'll, I'm going to look for a clean spot on the drum itself just to know, to see if the blade is working, the new blade is working. So I'm going to turn the drum back this way. And I like that sound and I look for that clean spot. Right here is the clean spot. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that the streaks are, are happening here. But with the new blade now, it's cleaning the toner completely. And I can kind of hear that nice, nice little squeak, meaning that it's making good contact with the drum. And now I'm, it's one whole revolution. So now the whole drum is clean. I know that the blade is cleaning the drum well. So that's changing the blade. All right, now we'll put the main charge back in. Slide in the left side first. 
think it's this way. Yep, I'm gonna slide in the left side first. I'm just gonna get it over that little notch. Here we go. And bring down the metal side on the right. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit and slide it towards the right. There we go. And then just making sure that that gray tab is on the is on the on the far on the right side of that um, black frame notch so that's locking it into place go ahead and move the main charge cleaner all the way in its home position if you leave it in the middle and you do a count if you make a copy there's going to be a blank streak about the size of this cleaner itself if you leave this in the middle and put the drum in so we want to make sure that that is all the way to the edge where the arrow is pointing in the home position. So we pop this drum back in and let's see what we got. All right. in we'll get the developer unit with the toner developer units in turn this on We'll do a status page, report OK, report print OK, scroll down one, status page OK, and yes. So first copy out, compared to the before copy, looks like we have a winner. Nice clean copies changing the drum cleaner blade on the Kyocera FS1135, also the M2035 and M2535. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.